Okay, so here goes nothing. Uh, hello, my name is Warren, and uh, this is um, uh, an experiment, and I don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, so about 40 something minutes ago, 40 something minutes? No, about an hour ago, uh, I asked people who um, are on my uh, Facebook page uh, what some of their favorite tunings were. And um, I thought, you know, I wanted to try something a little different for my next video. Uh, maybe I got this crazy idea. Maybe I can just uh, try the tunings uh, that these people suggest. And uh, some of them I may know, some of them I may not. So I wrote them down, and I'm not really sure which one I'm going to get. But uh, this is a, a, a test for musicianship, for music theory. And um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, did, did, is that shaking? The one's on the side. Okay. This is highly scientific, as you can tell. Thank you, Vincent. All right, here we go. First one. First one. Benjamin Polly, D G D G A D. Uh, I know this tuning. I've I already used this tuning before, but it's tuning from standard E down to D. D G D G A D. This is a wonderful tuning actually, so I'm kinda cheating, but I'm just trying to look for note relationships. I see a, a D and a G, but more importantly, this is one, two, three, four, one and four, fourth degree of the D major scale. And this is a D and a G, A, D. When I play these, I really don't um, hear them that way, but um, I hear them as, you know, one, four. some note relationships kind of and reassemble them into something musical. Good tuning. But uh, I already know that tuning, so gotta kind of mix it up a little bit more. Here comes the next one. Alex Simon says, play E A D G A E. I already know that one too. <laughs> so that's a Radiohead tuning. Same tuning for airbag, um, for Radiohead's airbag, and uh, also for Nice Dream. So what I'm doing is I'm hearing um, maybe try something in the C. So the E is no longer just an E in a name to me. It's a, it's a number in the scale. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. And I have a six in every chord if I leave that second string open. Six, Sweet 
jazzy So what do I got there? I got a major C chord, C major, this is the one in my key And I got a six added to it, it's another layer there And then a D minor with a ninth and a That A is acting as my fifth And then I got a G7 but I add an A there, so that makes it a G9. G9. And then I could do a F. And then I got a four song ballad. There we go. There it is. Let's move on. Next one. Keep it moving. Alex Sewell or Sowell. Sowell. So uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, C G E G C C. I don't know this tuning. Finally, there's one that I like I've never seen before. <laughs> I don't like tuning up because the string could break. C's, G's, and E's. If you guys know music theory or any kind of basic chord knowledge, that's just a C major. So when I'm open, that means I can immediately see stuff in the key of C with... There's my F chord. One chord, four chord, five chord. All my major chords there. And then... Oh, wrong note there. There we go. <laughs> okay, so D minor, kind of like a D minor 7, C major 7 over E, so then I've got six chords I can play around with now, okay, so... realize this might be a Bon Iver tuning. I've never played this uh, Skinny Love. There's my octave. Woohoo! I'm not sure if this is how it's played, but it sounds right. Yeah, I will play with this tuning. This one. There. C shape. Something like that. People who know how to play this song, um, don't crucify me. This is just me figuring it out for the first time.
now I've obviously had to spend more time with it. But uh, oh, that was that was a fun one. That was a fun one. Um, I'm gonna remember that one, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Allison Barrow. Dad Gad. Um, that's a very very common tuning. Um, so similar to D G D G A D, the one I did um, at first. So maybe we'll kind of just leave that for you know the fun of it, you know, just because this gonna you know, keep it fresh. Okay, Jared Land, C G C G B E. Um, I think that's a Radiohead tuning again, but I wouldn't know because sometimes when I learn the Radiohead songs. Just kind of learn them real quick, spit them out for the tutorial, and then forget about them. C G C G B E. Oh, back up to E. Discover just now is this is one. This is one I'm singing in the key of C. One five, one five, five seven, and three. <clears throat> but in this tuning, there's a a lot of useful stuff, but then kind of a challenging little interval here that you don't quite know what to do with. Except that when you play it by itself, you realize there's a, a major tenth there. It's a it's an octave, which is eight notes apart. One two three four. Seven, eight, there's an octave and then eight, nine, ten, there's a tenth, major tenth, minor tenth, minor tenth, major tenth, major tenth, minor tenth. Ah, oh, this is a twisted word. Yeah, that's the tuning that it's from. sounding tuning when you add that flat six but I'll do something different with it because that's what Radiohead already did so I'm not gonna copy them tricky tuning there but Got some uh, possibilities here. Not recommended for small handed people. But, uh, some cool stuff to be found. Let's try another one. Ooh. 
Leland Extum. Extum. This is uh, D A D F sharp A D. That's just an open D chord, and uh, I've messed around in this tuning before. Sorry if this video is a little uh, rough around the edges, but um, thought I'd give you a glimpse into you know uh, how uh, you can apply some of this music theory stuff that I keep talking about. Um, this is something that I feel like uh, is is really a useful tool for for any any musician, not just guitar players. But I got this tuning. I've got D major chord. So kind of a cool thing there. Um, um, uh, ex bandmate of mine made a cool song in this tuning. Brilliant, brilliant. I didn't write it, so it's brilliant, you know. So here's a D. Oh yeah, I have a song that I written, wrote in this tuning, I totally forgot. It's, um, I'll find relief. string action, I've got a flat six and a four and a five and a one. Let's see if I can find a two chord. And a three chord. And a six chord. And then a five chord. minor, B minor, A major, G major. That's um, it's good enough, I think, experimentation for today. But um, that was difficult. Uh, that was really difficult. That was challenging. Uh, really, kind of uh, got my got my blood flowing there. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're curious about what just happened, um, what what was going on there is is I'm not just looking at the names of the notes. Okay, uh, the names of the notes like A B C D E F G. That that's not really really. Uh, the most important thing, uh, I think, in, in music. Sure, you, you go around the world and, you know, you tell them, give me a C and somebody will play a C for you. It's the same all around the world. But what I'm really about uh, as a musician and as a teacher is uh, the note relationships. Um, how do the notes sound when you put them together? How do the notes sound? Do they uh, make some kind of uh, mood and uh, some sort of flavor or feeling? And that's what I'm going for when I'm playing the instrument. I want to actually achieve a feeling. I want to achieve a mood. And um, the way that I go about it is uh, I, I look for these relationships that I'm familiar with. Um, one of the most familiar ones that you guys uh, uh, probably know about is called the major scale. So I use the major scale a lot, as you can see, just to guide my uh, understanding of where I could put my fingers and where it's going to sound good. Um, if you notice, I don't put my fingers just anywhere um, I'm actually thinking uh, about what I can try to play and what's going to sound good happy accidents happen for sure 
but um, the issue of sort of just placing your fingers anywhere on the fretboard and hoping it to sound magical or hoping it to sound pretty um, that's that's a <laughs> that's a that's a that's a tricky bet you know uh, so uh, it's really nice to have music theory as a tool to help kind of ga uh, guide guide uh, gauge gauge guide you know, sort of guide your, your exploration of, of the guitar and also to, in a way, gauge your musicianship too because, you know, you're testing yourself to the limit. Uh, standard tuning is awesome. Uh, I love it. I play in it every day. Um, but standard tuning, sometimes you just want to break from it. Sometimes you want to um, see if you can uh, throw yourself into a different world of, of sound, you know, for, for a temporary amount of time. So that's enough of me rambling. Um, uh, for more info on music theory, uh, come follow uh, my Facebook page. It's just facebook.com slash warrenmusic. Always uh, talking about some cool stuff there. Um, for lessons, I do give lessons over Skype, and uh, Skype connects us all, right? Um, so add me on there. My name is Warren Lane, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching.